Don't just be another foreigner, be a local Lao Wai. Welcome back to Local Lao Wai, the show that gives you everything you need to know for a smooth transition to life here in China. I'm Donnie Newman. Today we're going to be talking about a fast-growing trend here in China, keeping pets. If you're used to having a furry companion to keep you company at home, rest assured that you'll be able to easily adopt an animal friend here. So without further ado, let's talk about how to acquire and properly treat your animal friend here in China. If you're on the market for a new pet, the first thing you can do is check to see if your city has an animal shelter. The word for animal, 动物, and shelter, 收容所, combine to form the whole word for animal shelter, 动物收容所, or you could also look around your local pet store to see what they have for sale. If you buy from the pet store, make sure they can provide the health certificate of the animal before you buy. Donny! Hmm? Someone's at the door. Donny! My friend is going back to the US and she gave me her dog. Isn't he cute? Whoa, what? What kind of dog is it? Um, I don't know. She said she just found it on the street. Huh? Well, did she get him checked out? No, but he looks just fine. Hmm. Taking a dog up off the street is a little more risky. If you're like my friend Nicole here and don't know the exact health condition of your pet, it's best to take him to an animal clinic to get him checked out. Animal clinics are becoming more and more popular here in China, especially in larger cities. And the Chinese word for animal clinic is so yi yuan. Now besides being the responsible thing to do, getting your dog a checkup can also result in you getting your hands on a health certificate. Now with the health certificate, you can then register your dog at the police station, and many cities require you to do so. Here in Beijing, you'll need your passport, a photocopy of your passport, and a one-inch photo of your furry friend, plus the health certificate to register your dog. Oh, and you'll need some money too. It'll cost 1,000 kwai for the initial cost, plus 500 kwai per year after that. But hey, they'll throw in a free rabies shot afterwards. Living with your new pet can be rewarding and tremendous fun. So here are some tips to make sure that your experience with your pet is the best possible one here in China. Although pet stores are becoming more and more common here in China, it's still entirely possible that there won't be a pet store near where you live. If this is the case, you can still get food and other basic supplies for common pets like cats and dogs in your local supermarket. If you do have a pet store near you, you can expect them to have everything a normal pet store would have back home, including a large variety of products for many different animals. And if they don't have something, they're usually willing to order it for you. Another thing you'll notice about all the products on sale here is the doggy clothing that they have available. It's super popular right now here to have your dog wear something like this, which looks like a traditional Chinese dress. So, what do you think? Want to look like a local? Doesn't look like it. You'll also notice that most of the dogs you see around China are relatively small. That's because in the big cities, there simply isn't room for big dogs. In Beijing, for example, you can technically be fine for keeping a dog anywhere within Fifth Ring Road. And besides, it's not easy on the dog either. For example, China doesn't have many dog parks where you can just let your dog run loose. And there are some local favorites as well. If you look closely around Beijing, you can see a lot of people carrying around their pet crickets and birds in cages on walks around town. I did everything you said. I took him to get a check out and I got his license. Oh, and check all this cool stuff I got for him. It cost me a lot, but I don't care. I just have to give him a home when my friend goes back to the States. Oh, wait a minute. She's going back to the States? Yeah. Just remembered, she can actually take the dog back home with her. 
Really? Yeah, you just have to go through the right procedures. Oh, I'm sorry, I just come here to pick him up. Yikes. Hey, come on, Nicole. I'll take you to a pet shelter. We'll get a new shower cook. Okay, let's go. All right. Take care of your pets, everyone. See you next time. On the next episode, we'll talk about how you can get your daily exercise here in China. Until then, keep sending in your questions at localawai at bon.tv. I'm Donnie Newman. We'll see you next time.